In this video, we'll be looking at the third destined one revealed, which is Alden. This time, we'll go through the skills quicker, and same as last time, we'll be giving our thoughts and first impressions on the deck and their support. And we'll go through the cards one by one. So, Destined One of Protection Alden. When a card would be called by this unit's ability to a rear guard circle with a unit, you can bounce the rear guard on that circle back to hand. And on attack CB1, you draw a card and choose up to one card from your hand and call it to rear. And until end of your opponent's next turn, that card cannot be retired by card's effects and gets plus 10. And then the divine skill, so plus 1, look at top 7 cards of your deck. You get 2 cards from among them and call them to rear guard, up to 2, and call them to rear guard. And until end of your opponent's next turn, they cannot be retired by your opponent's card's effects. Okay, so some resist going on here. Yeah, CB1 for plus 1, then so plus 1 for plus 2. And oh, yeah. you can... You can get back units from rearguard circles back to hand. So you can call out PGs and bounce them back to hand by calling on top of them with the Alden skill. Yeah, last night in CFA, I was actually desperately searching for a, for a call from drop, but <laughs> seems like we don't have one yet. Yeah, but it seems like searching or getting PGs for Keter is pretty standard now since you have yeah. the Shadow Paladin searcher. Then you also have Luard, you have mm -hmm. yeah, just a bunch of decks getting having easy access to Sentinels. Sentinels. Then Everlasting oh. Sky Knight Sodius, the grade two on the right deck. When rolled upon by Alden, so bless one to a top five and choose up to one grade three or less card from among them and call it the rear. So plus one. Tranquila. For soul blast. Yeah, for soul blast. Then Tranquilla, when rode upon by Sodius, look at top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 grade 2 or greater from among them, and put it to your hand instead your of, hand so you don't have to call it. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the Youth Burke ride line, and then if you did oh, not yeah. reveal a card, energy charge too. Oh, so yeah. you don't lose anything if you just whiff. Yeah, at least you get the energy. You can at least energy charge. Then the starter, Admis. Next is Razionel. On place, Energy Blast 4, draw 1. So a bit more costly mm. than the Cycler, but it's on place. So you don't have to discard it or... I didn't even notice the Energy Blast 4. Pretty big cost, but I guess a draw is a draw. And nice. it's very easy to get it since you just have to call it to rear. When your other unit is placed on the rear guard circle, this unit is on by Alden skill. That place unit yeah. gets plus 10 and if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, so bless 1. Choose one of your rear guards and stand it. So you can call over her and then stand the other one so you always have 5 attacks. So this one helps you a lot with getting uh, another attack. Mm -hmm. So that's probably a must have in the deck. Then next is Heavenly Defense Dragon Wedge Fluence Dragon. During the battle, this unit boosted. If you have a grade 3 or greater Alden Vanguard, gets plus 5. And when this boosts a grade 3 or greater Alden Vanguard, Soul Charge 1 and gets plus 2. So another 15k booster, but this time this the skill is more tame. It's just yeah. Soul Charge. The plus 2 also helps to create magic numbers. Yeah, behind Alden, it's gonna be. 38 then de determine with the blade of protection it's an order card play this if you have vanguard alden with divine skill choose one of your vanguard and it gets auto when this unit attacks cb1 choose up to one card from your hand and call it to rear What's so another multi-attack um, yeah five attack enabler yeah so it's an order though so yeah it, the grade zero might be better the old pr for alden yeah so this one might clog up your hand. It might. Might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also CB. So, 2CB. Oh yeah, it does. Use CB. Well, actually, the PR also use, but... Mm, but this one's The Grade 3 is a Soul Blast, right? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, so the Grade 3 Soul Blast. So, the Grade 3 is the best to stand there. Yeah. Then, Knight of Sky Flows Gelment or Gelment. 
when this unit intercepts, if you have a grade 3 or greater Alden Vanguard, it gets plus 20,000 shield. 20k shield! So 25k it's shield. a lot of shield. Like the Combined only... with the uh, Alden's resist, it's sort of Yeah, good. and then it, the, I think the skill also gives plus 10,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. Oh, so it's kind of hard to get rid of as well. Yeah, so... The only issue is, at this point, Shoujo Doji is already in the meta. So oh yeah. It's gonna be, have a hard time using this. And quite, yeah, and quite a bunch a bunch of decks also use uh, or bind now instead of retire, so... Yeah, like Messiah, mm. Eva if you run the Great 2 order. But oh yeah, the Great 2 order. That's less Eva likely. also binds now. Yeah, and then Shoujo binds but also targets the circle. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter if your rear guards cannot be chosen. Yeah, but I, th I guess there's also a decent amount that will have a hard time getting rid of this. So, But it that's his only skill. So uh, it's kind of worth... <laughs> I guess if you find That's a way, for the shield, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can get away with running fewer copies of each card since you have a lot yeah. of searching. With the the thing is, you're down. only really gonna run him for the 20k shield because he does not do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I think this can still be run, but probably yeah. not a set. Not as much. Then the last card is Wafting Owl. If you have a Vanguard with Alden, with Alden in its card name and Divine Skill, gets plus 5,000 power and shield. Cards you can use, on, I can only think of the Ermac. Maybe mm -hmm. on place on rear guard, if you have a unit with Alden in its card name, this unit gets plus 5. But if it was placed by card's ability, plus 15. So 25k. On your second attack. So this one's same with the other grid 2 with 20k shield. Like it's a bit awkward. Yeah. It can be a brick. Yeah, both of them can be <laughs> bricks. If you have a space or you wanna try it out, maybe like one or two of them. Yeah, if you're gonna use this or the other, you're gonna have to play around this instead of Yeah, around this mechanic probably. The next card is Bringer of New Style Surya's. If you have Vanguard with Alden its card name plus two and then your other unit is placed on the rear guard by the ability of your Vanguard with Alden its card name CB1, choose one of your rear guards and stand it. Oh yeah, so this is the one that can replace the order. Yeah, so I realized that one advantage of this another advantage of this against the order is that you don't have to call, so you don't minus one. But this one you just restand. Oh yeah. But you won't be able to activate like on place effects. So like like Ermax game. <laughs> <laughs> so overall power decent columns twenty K twenty three K on the first yeah. on the first turn. Yeah, so plus ten. But your first attacks is gonna your be Your first attacks are low power, right? Yeah. Yeah, so because they only get the plus ten when they get called. So you need to have you need to make sure you have boosters. Mm. Yeah, you can boost on the first attack. Then you can the sec your second attacks get plus ten anyway. So they could probably hit over defensives. Yeah. Like the divine skill yeah. is actually pretty good. Like so blast one for check tops and so blast one and call two from deck. Yeah, and uh, does not have uh, also does not have grid restriction so even if your opponent's grade 2 you can actually activate this already yeah so you can set up already and as long as you have boosters your attacks will be pretty decent yeah yeah almost shoujo lord almost pretty similar i guess a similar bit stronger numbers. grade 3 turn than shoujo Unless yeah, because you also have 5 attacks instead of 4. Yeah, as long as you are able to set up. But Shoujo has the grade 2 rush. Yeah. This deck, kinda, I guess it can. It also depends on the other cards. You can also run the Cyclers or Kyber or... Well, Kyber CB1, but... Yeah, just... Actually, now that I realized it, you can actually set up your grade 3 pretty easily. 
as long as you don't break your your top searches because your grade 2 also searches for grade uh grade 3 or less part that you can call it the rear so you can set up, set up the board for your turn 3 pretty easily yeah so you won't have problem setting up as long as you're able to hmm, as long as you're able to keep all the momentum up and yeah and i think except for shoujo doji a lot of other decks in the meta or i guess blank Meyer is gonna buy mm. Mm. a lot of <laughs> yeah, yeah you have to find a way to uh but other than that, around that yeah you have pretty good you have pretty good like you can retain your board against other yeah decks the thing is the 20k shield you can also combat on the first on the first uh First to attack, so we can just bounce it to hand. We don't have to, so we keep that like twenty k shield. The oh wait, no, it has to intercept. Never yeah. mind. So it <laughs> has to intercept, but still a big boy. Twenty five thousand yeah. shield. That's half an OT. Yeah. So the decks, I probably this deck's probably gonna be consistent. Has mm-hmm. a strong grade three turn, easy setup as long as you don't whiff. Yeah. And <laughs> the deck is live on turn three, no restrictions, right? Yeah, no, 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 no restrictions. restrictions. Then so really good if you go first. Like you get yeah, you get a lot of decent plusing, especially from the divine skill. So as long yeah. as you keep your rear guards, you're gonna be good. Mm-hmm. So and you can search out pieces you need and bounce them back to hand. So overall, what are your thoughts and and how would you rate this deck like out of like so uh it does the the typical cater mechanic right the check top then call uh it also does have it also does uh create the board really easily but i'm not sure how um if it will run out of steam later because the check top seven call two is actually the divine scale so um, after turn three or like turn four onwards, I don't know how how easily you can build a build board. Though you do return regards to hand, so that's something. Uh, yeah, overall grade uh, first grade three turn, I feel like it's pretty scary of Adam. But other than that, uh, I feel like the power is is not like compared to the first two decks. I feel like it's. Um, it's on the lower end. I feel like from like the uh, power, like the attack power wise. Like yeah, the first two first two destined ones have a uh, decent plusing. This one has more of um, a mixture of defense and attack. Yeah, so pretty defensive deck, but then also aggro with the five attacks. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Uh, it also. Yeah, it also does return uh, cards to hand, so you get extra defense that way. Overall, maybe... Hmm... Not quite sure actually how to rate this one, but... First impression, maybe consistency-wise and... uh, Power-wise... Around B, around the B... I'm not sure if I'm gonna rate it B or C, but somewhere around that area. Around B or C? Yeah. Like, for me, though, first yeah. turn three is actually really scary, so yeah. I might rate it higher next time. Like, I guess if you look at Elquilibra and you compare the power level, there's a big difference, but yeah, you get to build a board so easily. Your only problem is bad matchups where, like, Blang, Mario, yeah. or Shoujo, and mm. I guess if you get rushed early, you have to drop cards from hand, like you, your units and your pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you find the if you find if the deck finds a way to deal with like bad matchups or getting rushed, I think it can be a really strong deck. Yeah. Honestly, Especially the. I feel like its consistency is also pretty good. Yeah, like you can bounce PGs. Like. Mm. I feel like this is almost same level for me, like almost same power level as the first two decks. 
which is kind of crazy because I think other people think also as well that because I can see why it looks from the surface level it looks mid yeah but I don't know I have a good feeling about this deck but I'm al- <laughs> so that so far I'm also rating every deck high right now yeah but maybe a bit lower than the first two decks around B to A maybe A minus if there is like Eight year, but I put, I put it under the last two decks. Yeah, pretty same for me. I, it's gonna be, so I'm rated every deck for <laughs> as of now uh, in B tier. Yeah, but, but yeah. this time if I'm like gonna B put this C. one. I probably put it also B below the two. Yeah, below the two. Yeah, so pretty solid deck. Yeah, we'll see how the and builds go. Although I feel like if you can, um, like, what do you call this? If you can adjust your style to the meta with this deck, I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah, like, if against stride deck sets, can you, you go second, you rush them. Mm, yeah, I guess. I guess decent matchup against Stride decks, like it's not s- bad matchup, but mm. yeah, I, I think this deck is just solid. Like it has big potential. Like same with the other two decks. Like if you it gets more support, it can even yeah. I'll consider it becoming meta if it gets more even more support. The thing is, uh, you can also despite it not having a rush because you obviously don't have uh, things that you know all early 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 game early turns you can actually commit stuff from hand because uh you can assuming your opponent wouldn't swing into them because you can actually just bounce them with alden skill afterwards yeah so you keep on so you don't really lose much I mean, you bounce it so you don't actually lose anything. Yeah. So, as long as... I Actually, now that I think of it, the 20k shield is so insane. Like, plus 20k shield, so 25k shield. Yeah. Like, it helps you... Because if you keep on bouncing... So, if you bounce your back to hand... If you bounce cards back to hand... I guess, yeah, you'll bounce your good attackers and then you call out the intercept boy. Yeah. So you have <laughs> strong attacks and good shield because mm-hmm. your units are gonna be 5k shield like others unless you run the owl. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess nothing much to say. Just a good yeah, deck. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's consistent. It has hand. It has attacks. Yeah, yeah, that got searchers five attacks yeah. decent numbers as long as you persona ride so that's one thing you have to persona ride yeah you have to actually search out your persona so yeah overall my thoughts right below 8 year but right below Levidras and Elquilibra yeah so for the I feel like the big two win- winners right now I mean this is also uh, the, uh, pretty good but it's not as flashy as the two yeah but so so far I've rated all the distant ones good. <laughs> I don't know if. I mean, they're actually pretty good though. Yeah. So uh, it's really hard to rate because Bushiroad's actually releasing pretty good, uh, pretty good um, uh, distant ones so far. Yeah, like first wave of support already good. Yeah. Well, I guess Alden have a few support cards, but I've read some. I think only the PR is. Bit- it's one of the only cards that I've read that synergizes well with the new Alden. So, yeah, any final thoughts or closing remarks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all just pretty, pretty good three decks so far from Bushiro here. Uh, yeah. The yeah, there are the abilities that I really like. The decks that are Bushiro are designing. And yeah, and they're they're. Reducing actually pretty balanced so far all of them all of them are like good 
and balance so far. Yeah, not to, not to, you know. Like they get the almost perfect level of power creep. I mean, it's not that power creep, but yeah, the decks that can compete that might compete in the meta, but it's not yeah. broken. And yeah. it also makes you think things, and you have more things to think about, or you have more interesting matchups if you go against them. Yeah. Or yeah, or if you play with them, it's gonna be fun since it's. Yeah, actually, so far, it, the, all of them have uh, pretty interesting mechanics too. Yeah. Um, nothing new, but you know, um, nothing that we haven't seen. I mean, but it's uh, interesting. Not just you know full on power. They they have other mechanics as well. So I think that's it. Yep. Thank you for watching.